What are the most deadliest diseases and what is it like to die from them? This week, we're going to be talking about Alzheimer's dementia. Alzheimer's dementia can be hard on the patient and the family. It doesn't follow the normal rules or the normal disease progression we see within other diseases. So here are five things to know about Alzheimer's dementia. Okay, so first off with Alzheimer's dementia, by the time they're on hospice, they have been dealing with, and the family has been dealing with this disease sometimes 10, 15 years. You cannot get on hospice with Alzheimer's dementia until the very, very end stage. And they usually look like this. They're bed bound, they're nonverbal, they're barely eating and drinking, which they have to be fed. And then they usually have some form of aspiration pneumonia because they start losing their ability to swallow. So. That's the very, very end stage of Alzheimer's dementia. And a lot of times this disease, instead of the progression looking like a downward slope, like a ski slope, it looks like a stairway. So you have a plateau coming along, you've lost your ability to walk, you're losing your ability slowly, but you're plateauing out here. Then something happens. You have a fall, an infection, and you go downhill. And then down here is where you might end up on hospice because they think maybe it's the end but sometimes you can crawl back up the stair and you plateau back out here and you actually come off hospice. And then you ride along this plateau for a while until something else happens, another infection, a UTI, and you go back down again. So the, so the, the progression of the disease is like a stairway, which can be frustrating and scary for families because they think their loved one's going to die and then they don't, they come back up and they plateau again. And then they just have the slow progressive disease, which is really, really hard. So number one, you usually can live a long time with Alzheimer's dementia, 10, 15 years. By the time you come see me, a hospice nurse, you're at the very end stage of this disease. Number two, by the time you see me as a hospice nurse with Alzheimer's dementia, you are usually fully bed bound and fully dependent for all your daily living activities, meaning, meaning bathing, changing, feeding. Number three, you usually will see infections. People with Alzheimer's disease towards the end of life will either have aspiration pneumonias, meaning they have choked on food and gotten pneumonia, or urinary tract infections, just meaning you get UTIs. Four, you can see wounds. So their skin is an organ and our, when our body is shutting down, that means our skin is shutting down. So people with Alzheimer's, since they are usually bed bound and not moving very much, they can be susceptible to skin breakdown. This is very normal. You can care for your loved one the best you can, but at the end of the day, sometimes they will still get wounds. Number five is they will eventually stop swallowing. This is your cue as family members to allow the body to be the guide. Do not force feed. If you force feed, that's what's going to cause aspiration pneumonia. This is a natural progression of the disease. And at the end of life, we want to let the body be the guide. So. Don't feed them. You could always offer if they take it some days, great. If they don't, that's okay. And we're just gonna let the natural process take over. Do you have experience with Alzheimer's dementia or you're caring for someone with Alzheimer's dementia? Please feel free to leave comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more death and dying information.